Hey, what is up guys? It's Daniel from How Tumen here today and we're going to be going over the top 5 apps to customize your Android for September 2017. So let's get right into it. Alright, so at the first app we have this app called Smart Wallpaper. This app changes your wallpaper depending on the scenarios you set up. The different scenarios are very customizable and you can basically have it set up to whether you want it to change every day, every week, every month, or maybe you want it to change when you connect to certain Wi-Fi's. All of this is customizable throughout the app and you have a ton of different options. It also provides you with some wallpapers you can download offline or you can use some from your gallery. So depending on how you feel about the wallpapers that the app provides, I personally like it because of the functionality and the different changes that you could set up. All right, let's move on to our next app. So at our next app, we have Sesame Shortcuts. This app is becoming very popular and it's one of the apps that makes your Android experience way better in my opinion. It provides you with a search bar that has a ton of different shortcuts. So right off the bat, it works with Nova Launcher and a few other launchers, I believe, unofficially. And essentially what it does is you will search up things like a song or maybe the name of a band, and it'll link you right to them in Spotify, at Google Play Music. It also will link you directly to subreddits, it will link you to contacts with the option to call or text that contact just by typing in the first few letters into the search bar. Essentially what this is doing is cutting out the middleman and making it so that you can reach out to whatever you're trying to do on your phone in a quicker and more efficient manner. So the third app we have Antracit and this is a super widget pack with over 40 material widgets that honestly in my opinion look super clean. My favorite thing about these widgets is that they have a card like background and this makes the text on the widget super easy to read regardless of what wallpaper you have, making sure that you don't have to blur out your wallpaper and yet the widgets are minimal enough to where they do not distract from the wallpapers completely. So that's what I enjoy about these widgets, I suggest you guys check them out. And at number 4 we have another set of Zooper widgets called Eternity. This is another set that looks super clean and not only that there is a ton of different widgets to pick from whether you want a google search bar, a weather widget, or a clock. They have all those options and more. So I suggest you guys check them out. They have a more different and diverse look in my opinion which flows really well with certain app icons and different setups. That's why I wanted to feature it today so I suggest you guys go check that out. Last but not least, our fifth app that we are going to be checking out is called Walsy. Walsy is a very popular app and it has over 600 different wallpapers, a lot of them sourced from Unsplash, but the difference between this and other wallpaper apps that have Unsplash wallpapers is that it gives you the option to change color, you can add blurs, you can add text to the wallpaper, it basically gives you more control over these wallpapers than any other app I've seen, and this is something that I would suggest you guys check out yourself and play with because honestly, I didn't really think much of it at first, but I found myself kind of using these little customizations here and there, and it gives you a pretty personalized feel to your home screen that you can't get with any other app. Pairing it with something such as Smart Wallpaper will give you some pretty cool results if you have the time and patience to set it up. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for this month's apps. I hope you guys enjoyed them. If you have any apps to suggest or any opinions, leave them in the comment section down below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video guys. See you guys in the next one.